<laughs> Hi. Howdy folks, I'm here with Ricardo. We're looking at the Lego Modelers. This is the first one, Cafe Corner. And we're going to be looking at all 15 Modelers that have been released so far, going in chronological order. Hopefully by the end of the series, the 16th one will be released early 2021. And uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, also building a whole street out of, out of them. So stay until the end, you'll see how we start to make a street. Of course, this is just the first one, so not much to construct. We will be grading them in four categories, namely the exterior, the interior, plus the back uh, side. We'll also be grading the building experience, and finally, how much fun you can actually have with them. So, this is the Cafe Corner, first released in 2007. And, uh, well, Ricardo, what do you think of it? Yeah, I think it looks really nice. Like, it's a, it's a very beautiful building. Very m many sort of details on the outside. I really like this nice hotel sign. So, yeah, I think it looks nice. Alright. What I like about the exterior of this building is that it's very bold. It's very proud of how it uses Lego to create architecture. The uh, Modeler series, series started as a series for more adult people actually just really wanting to get into the building experience of making beautiful things with uh, Lego. And what I like about this building is that there are other uh, adult versions of Lego, like let's say the Taj Mahal and the Tower Bridge, that also celebrated architecture, but this is its unique design. Uh, the designer, Jamie, um, as far as I could tell, he was simply told by Lego, you can build a very, very beautiful building. He actually made three versions of this, a smaller, larger, uh, so, sm smaller, larger, and this version of the building and what you can tell is that it's full of building uh, ways of building that we're not used to seeing other uh, Lego for example the way the skis are placed on this uh, on this arch uh, I don't know any other Lego builders that use this uh, technique and I, I like to believe that Jamie he, uh, he he was used to doing this in his own free time and when he started to work for Lego he was like okay I'm gonna do that technique uh, also for example putting the letters in this he was also another uh, arch using a similar technique to that um, what I also like about this building is that it's just, uh, it's very classic. It really just sets the tone for your, uh, for your Lego Modeler City. And while the other ones are more focused on, uh, on its theme of having a, uh, you know, fun time, this is more about, look at me. I'm a beautiful building. You can't get around me. And, uh, uh it's quite unfortunate that there's not much going on, really. All you have is a couple of people hanging here, have, uh, getting a drink. You have the concierge. You also play around. And uh, yeah, there's this uh, garbage pail. <laughs> so uh, uh, yeah, there's not much story to be told here. Not that much fun compared to later modelers, but simply pure aesthetic uh, enjoyment. And uh, speaking of exterior, if I were to give it a grade of one to five, well, at the time it would obviously be five stars out of five, but uh, we're taking into all the other modelers into account. So I'm only giving this three out of five stars. It looks great, but there are from uh, some of them simply look better. Well, let's take a look now uh, at the inside and the back. Let's first flip, flip it around. The back of this building is rather bare bones. As you can see, there is a little bit of a guard now. You do get a garbage pan, which is pretty much the only detail you can add, so I put it there. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this is all really simple, and when you're putting it against other buildings, you're going to have to uh, uh, realize that this part is going to be still remain pretty plain. However, Ricardo, what did you like about the about the backside again? Yeah, so I like that you have this little tower and all of the details, like you have them in the front. Because with some of the other modelers, the backside is just plain and blank, and at least here they kind of made it all fit together. Exactly. So that's really nice. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's not completely ugly from the backside. Okay. So now we're going to look at the inside. Let's see what we have here. Oh, not much to be honest. As you can see, no furniture to be seen. The only details you actually have are the uh, the brown railings here, and I guess the stairs. Let's go uh, take off another part. Now what's interesting about these very old models is that there are no uh, brick uh, points that actually attach it. It just kind of lays on it, which for the top ceiling is okay, but the next part, I actually added some bricks of my own. See, what I did here was I added this one just to be, uh, so that it would actually click a little bit better, because otherwise all you had was this one stud here holding the whole uh, story in place, otherwise it just slides backwards. A lot of people have, uh, have said that they had trouble with that. But yeah, again, another story. Well, I guess you get to create your own hotel this way. Plenty of people have designed interiors. That could be fun for you, but uh, 
can't get it with this one. We're buying this set. And then one last story. Well, let's open it up this way. We have the infamous green carpet of the cafe. Might be worth considering getting another uh, base plate, perhaps a gray one, or uh, getting lots of tiles to fill the inside. You do get these stairs, so the uh, this monitor is in line with all the other ones, namely that you can reach every story of every building and uh, play with them. So uh, that's the inside. Ricard, do you have any other uh, thoughts on the inside of this building? No, it's, it's really very boring, <laughs> so there's not much to say. <laughs> no, that's, so the, that's what it is. All right, let's move on to the next part. Okay, Ricardo, what grade would you give the insides in the back of this building? Yeah, I think it's really not that special, so I would just give it a one. Yeah, one it's, out of five stars. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> this one and Mark, Mark and Street are the two modelers without any real insight. Not much to do on the, uh, not much to do. So obviously a one. Uh, well, let's talk about the building experience. Well, unfortunately, Ricardo wasn't around with me to build it, and uh, I'll have to admit, I didn't have that much of a good time. It felt a lot like work. It started out with a lot of tile placing. If you look uh, closely, you'll see that the word cafe is written with small one by one. Uh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Uh, then on things get a little bit better when you get to make the seat, build, pin in some uh, windows, build in the doors, and uh, you know the sunscreens. Uh, well, they look pretty nice. You get, to, you get, it's you build something nice to look at. I would say the best part of the cafe corner build experience is building these uh, this arch with the skis and the coffee mug. Uh, some people have complained that it's rather hard to get all the skis in the right place. Some people have said it takes about 10 minutes. I only need about 5 or so, but still, yeah, it was kind of hard, especially considering the fact that the arch continuously pushes at these brakes, making making it hard to stay in the place. You have the same effect with this arch, which also pushes upwards, pushing the whole building uh, uh, upwards, which means you have to push it down and make sure everything is perfectly right. The hotel sign was probably the best, uh, uh, also one of the better parts. Where uh, yeah, it was just fun making the letters and seeing that it's actually kind of glow through. So that was cool. So after an hour or two, you're having a good time building these special details. Uh, but then you start working on the second and third floor, and even though they look really nice, they don't have any inside. So you know, yeah, not being not building any furniture and all that 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 is a bit boring. And then you have all those repetitions. You can see there are four windows of the same on one side, four on the other. This is done four times. Uh, there's such, so much repetition because it's uh, not only a symmetrical building, but you can see a lot of the same patterns. So at times it felt like I was you know, just doing work. These of the parts <clears throat> do offer some diversity, but still, nah, they're not that interesting. So all in all, I would say the, the building experience is only one out of five stars. And what about fun? Well. Ricardo, have you had a lot of fun pl playing with this one? <laughs> well, I mean, I love min minifigures, and this one comes with three. So we have Fred the Concierge here, cleaning the streets. And then we have these two little ladies, um, Katrin and Sterne, which are actually Robert's neighbors. And they, um, they are hanging out here at the cafe. I like that there are kind of some details, so she's coming with a, with a bike, which I think is pretty cute. But other than that, there's not a lot going on, so except for these three minifigures, um, there's not so much to play with, I would say. Yeah, most, most models give you about six mega figures on top of that. And of course, without any inside to play with, yeah, all you really got <laughs> is this little um, cafe uh, seating place on the outside. And uh, what's quite unfortunate is that you can't even really move the chairs that well because you, you need to use uh, the studs here. And moving the studs around is kind of hard, so... Unfortunately, our friends here are going to have to do some social distancing. If you're in the year 2020 watching this, you'll know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, I would uh, I would give this one out of five stars for fun. You too? Yeah, I think they're, they're much more fun modelers, which we will come to later. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so now we've uh, completely reviewed the Cafe Corner. Just one last thing to do, my favorite part of this series, namely... Setting up the city. Would you uh, take the honor of placing the first building on the street? Yes. Well, there you have it. First building is okay. 
<laughs> later, later episodes, we'll uh, add the Marcus Street and the Green Gross and the Fire Brigade and all that. We'll make a beautiful uh, uh, street and then later actually even a whole neighborhood. So we hope to see you later on in our uh, reviews of the modeler, uh, Lego modelers. And uh, see you then. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, now let's go. What is that? Wait a minute. What is that? That's a man's What's my slow car? Whatever, right? So slow car. Yeah, that. So slow car. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good door. Yeah? Nah, yeah. It's going to be on the idea that you know. Okay, begin, yeah.